it's unsettling, but I'm glad it's caught. For people who lived in the Oxford Row townhouses in September of 2005 and remember the brutal attack and sex assault on a young woman, there's relief a suspect is behind bars. I'm glad nobody else's daughter or, or uh, wife uh, has to worry. In the Fairfax case, Jesse Matthew is charged with attempted murder, abduction, and sexual object penetration. Prosecutors say the young woman was walking home from the nearby giant on Germantown Road when she was grabbed and carried to this grassy area near a pool. She survived and gave police a description which resulted in this sketch. Then, in October of 2009, Virginia Tech student Morgan Harrington disappeared at a concert at UVA. Her body was found and a forensic link connects her case to the Fairfax case. Sources say the victim in Fairfax received a savage beating, but that she fought back, scratching the suspect, which left his DNA under her fingernails. With a strong case and a surviving victim, longtime Fairfax criminal defense attorney Robert Whitestone says there may be a good reason to try the Fairfax case first. If the trial and conviction is heard before the trial in Charlottesville, uh, would be used to enhance the punishment from any jury verdict in Charlottesville. A conviction here in Fairfax would increase the likelihood Jesse Matthew would get the death penalty if charged and convicted of a capital offense in Hannah Graham's death.